what? one of the things we try to say in this is when people come together, listen, we are against, here to listen. Be not against what and I think there will be time what for other listening. What we are against is a presence of terrorism by Islam, political Islam against Iranian people for more than three decades. Conrad Brunk was brought in to head the academic program, and one of the issues, as I recall, was the, the issue of whether peace studies was to be a discipline like sociology or political science, or whether it was to be focused on studying the basic problem of human conflict and bringing a wide range of, of disciplines to bear. Living and working in Haiti and Jamaica, you can't understand things from only one perspective. You know, things are, there are so many factors involved and they're so complex that I think it's really valuable to have a program like PAX that addresses things from a very interdisciplinary perspective and recognizes that there's lots of um, contributing factors and different ways of analysis that, are, that all have something to bring to the issue at hand. This is the sound of one voice One spirit, one voice The sound of one makes a choice this is the sound of one voice this is the sound of one voice I came to Conor Vrabel in the middle 80s the second decade of the PAX program when the world attention was, was uh, focused on Ethiopia and the starvation, the famine that was going on there. Uh, during that decade, we introduced the internship program and our students uh, repeatedly, as they went to countries around the world to, to do their internships, returned saying that they had, uh, had learned more than they had ever before, that these experiences, learning from others, listening to others, was a transformative experience and, and reshaped not only their academic world but their worldview and in many cases their ideas of what they would be doing in the future. This is the sound of voices too The sound of me singing with you Helping each other to make it through this is the sound of voices too. This is the sound of voices too. I'm seeing like I have a passion, inspiration to do something uh, to, to, as, a, as an agent of peace. I'm also convinced that I'm one person that I forget the efforts of others and learn more skills can also bring more, more change in my community. Like day to Mahatma Gandhi. So I'm, uh, I'm very optimistic that the PAX program is a, a very good program for me and especially for the situation now that is happening in Kenya. We're going to do our best artificially to construct this cultural experience. This is the sound of voices three Singing together in harmony Surrender Mystery. This is the sound of voices three. This is the sound of voices three. Who basically is learn here from the books, go to the field, uh, learn more, get shocked, uh, cry, laugh, and then come back and make the program better, make yourself a better peace builder. So it's something that at this moment I think is the most valuable part uh, of the PAX program. The excitement about the program is that um, the 
program that we offer is meeting the needs of students. The program is essentially at full capacity, and these are students who are looking for some guidance and some teaching and how to be a more effective uh, player in building peace in our world. This is the sound of all of us, singing with love and the will to trust, leave the rest behind and we'll turn to Um, Palestinian and Israeli, or whether it's um, a Christian and Muslim, whether when they when they meet, when it's just two people understanding their humanity, I think that's when most of uh, most of the peace building is done, where most of the peace work um, is starts and is rooted. This is the sound of one voice, one people. This is the sound of war.